Can you help this patient survive? A 27-year-old man presents to the clinic with dysuria and purulent penile discharge. He previously had gonococcal urethritis four months ago that was treated with ceftriaxone and doxycycline after testing positive for Neisseria gonorrhea. Symptoms resolved, and he had unprotected sex with a new partner six weeks ago. He now develops similar symptoms again. Swab is positive for Neisseria gonorrhea and negative for chlamydia. Which of the following is the most likely explanation for the recurrence of the infection in this patient? All right, so gonorrhea recurs frequently because Neisseria gonorrhea has extensive antigenic variation of its pili. Specifically, there's phase variation of the OPA proteins, and it constantly shifts surface structures, and so it does not have lasting immunity. So prior infections offer almost zero protective immunity, and it makes reinfection extremely common, especially after a new sexual exposure. So in our patient here, it's not going to be B, that ceftriaxone resistant strain, because resistance is emerging, but it's still uncommon in a typical outpatient presentations. It's not going to be C, latent gonococcal. Gonorrhea does not establish latency. Symptoms don't reactivate the same way that HSV or tuberculosis might, so that's not the right answer. Co-infection is not correct because he tested positive for gonorrhea, and that's not explained by another organism. Immunodeficiency, well, he previously cleared infection normally, and so if you were immunodeficient, then you'd see recurrent bacteria and respiratory infections, not isolated gonorrhea infection. And so the answer is indeed going to be A. Reinfection after a new sexual partner is expected because Neisseria's antigenic variation prevents long-term immunity. Now, here are some important notes about the condition. If you found this helpful, then like and subscribe.